Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today, we have another micro brand. This has come courtesy of my friend Steve over at a watch obsession. I'll leave a link to his Instagram channel below. Now, this brand here is Armin, and the reference for this model, model name is the Sherman, like the tank, because this company are really trying to get a name for themselves in building vintage style military watches on a, with a modern take. Now, I'm not quite sure if that's, if they succeeded with this one, but I can see where they're coming from with that. Now, this brand only came around, I think it was two years ago, they launched this on Kickstarter, like so many smaller brands do these days. It's a much more easier platform to actually sell watches really, to get some kind of publicity out there. They're based over in Ireland, and he's only got a few watches available at the moment, but to be fair, there's, there's something different, they're quite unusual. I believe they're about $365, I think it is, sale price. And, but I did notice on the Black Friday that they were half price. So for that price, you're getting, uh, I think, a, a, you know, a good deal on these watches. I don't know if they're the kind of company who you can get regular deals with, but I dare say you might be able to be in they are a smaller company. So down to the specs, this is a 44 millimeter case diameter, but don't let that put you off because it is only a 10 millimeter thick watch which means it sits really nicely on the wrist. The lugs are uh, 49, I think, no, 50, I believe they were, 50 mil, and the strap width is 22. So it sits on the wrist really well. The actual dial, if we zoom in there, you actually do have a slight bit of texture to it. This outer circle would be our markers on there. It's got like a pitted finish and different to the inner which is more smooth. The hands and the hours are actually loomed on this watch. If I put a quick, just a real quick flashlight on there so you can see. So you see, you actually still have some loom on there. So it's actually not too bad at all. You have a very sort of like um, vintage inspired centers, uh, sorry, vintage inspired second hand down at the six o'clock position, which is quite a nice touch. The only downside I would say, and this bugs me, is it's off center. If you look at the 12, if I do this, the pointer and the 12 isn't quite in line. The 12 is slightly to this, to the left hand side of the watch, which is a little bit of a shame. If you brought it, you could always take it back and yeah, I dare say that wouldn't be a problem from. But I do like the finishing of the, the kind of copper finish to the hands of the watch. I do think that's actually quite nice. The, the actual crystal here is a dome sapphire and it is nice. I do like the dome and how it has a, you know, plays with the light on the, uh, plays with the light on the dial. It is quite actually a nice looking um, sapphire crystal on there. The watch is actually water resistant also, but albeit 50 meters. So don't think you can just, you know, dive into a pool if the watch says 50 meters. All that really means is it's splash proof. So being out in the rain, possibly washing your hands, washing the car, not the kind of watch you'd actually want to take, you know, into the, a pool with, albeit it's got this strap anyway, you couldn't really do it on that. The actual case, it's got, it's like a, I don't know, it's like it's brass finish, but it's got a kind of texture to it. It feels like it's an applied finish. It's a, a bit of a weird finish. We do have a signed crown there. It isn't screwed down because this watch is a manual winder, which I like. The company says they only do manual winders, I believe. They, they don't do any quartz watches at all, and I do like that. It's a nice, really loud um, click to it. Now as we turn it round, there you go. And that's the star of a show there, isn't it? That just looks great. That, at first I was thinking it was a Unitas, uh, maybe a 6497, but at this price point, definitely not. So I believe it's a Seagull. I think it's possibly a Seagull 3620, I'm not, which is like basically the copy of that. 
And in all fairness, it's nice. They haven't done a bad job of it at all. You know, timekeeping seems good. Um, power reserve, I think it's around about 36 hours on this watch. And yeah, it, it looks quite respectable. I believe that with the Seagull movements, the cheaper ones, the blued screws are not heat treated blue. They are actually just painted. But it looks nice. And at this price point, you don't mind. You can, that's the clicker making the noise in the top there. And that's winding the mainspring. And I, I like that. But please don't think this is equivalent to, say, a Panerai. I had once one person on eBay, one, uh, not on eBay, sorry, Facebook, saying basically that's a Panerai movement. And as I have a Panerai, you can... That's the Panerai movement. A little bit different. Yeah. So, no. Much, much different. And that's a chronometer spec movement. This most certainly isn't. But it's still very, very nice. I do quite like it. The strap, which comes with the watch, is like a, a velvet kind of style strap. You do have a... Let me zoom out there. You have a matching um, buckle on the end there. Overall, it's it's... I think for the price point, it's interesting. Not necessarily what I'd go for, but it is actually interesting. Let me put it on the wrist and you can see. Oh, sorry, I'm wearing a Zin uh, UX GSG-9 on a funky strap. I'll just put this on off camera. It's a little bit easier to put it on that way. So I say, because of its slim size, it sits on the wrist really well, because you can see how slim it is. So no problems at all fitting this underneath a, uh, what do you call it, um, shirt or blouse or whatever. So it really, it's it's not bad. I think for the price, you, you get a decent amount of watch. The, I should mention actually, my wrist size is a fraction over seven inches. So there you go. I quite like a manual wind watch. I feel that you get more attachment to a manual wind watch because you have to wind it. If anyone wonders how do you know when to stop, you can feel it. You'll feel resistance and you know not to you know, go past that. But there you go, something a little bit different. They do, obviously, other models. You don't have to have this finish, so you can, you can choose from a fair few different colours, whatever you like. And I think if you can get them for that 185 or under 200, I think it makes for a, a nice watch, something a little bit different. And let's face it, that looks great. I don't care if it's a Seagull, Newton Task, whatever, that still looks fantastic. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Say, so if you liked it, please feel free to like, like and subscribe to keep up to date with the latest videos. I try and keep them coming every week. Um, any comments, I'll always try and get back to you. So all the best and I'll see you at the next video. Stay safe. Bye.